Hey, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you something cool today. I have Microsoft Excel running and I have a bunch of contacts that I got from the web. It doesn't matter where you got them from. I want to take them and put them into Outlook and put them into my Outlook contacts. That way I can either do a mail merge and mail them all, a personalized email, or I can organize them by company. So here's what you have to do. By default, you have an Excel file. You have to go to File save as and make it a csv file that's the first step and then you name it whatever you want to i'm gonna call it web import i'm assuming i got them from the web hit save close now i'm over in outlook and this is going to be simple because when i go to contacts which they also call people now i don't have anyone in here so when i import these i should end up with six new contacts I did a screenshot of how it looked in Excel so you can keep up with this. Here we go. File. Make sure you're on contacts when you do this. Open and export. Import export. Import from another program. Hit next. Make sure it's comma separated values. That's why you saved it as a CSV. Hit next. Browse. Go find that file. Next, contacts is selected. That's perfect. Next, do not hit finish now. It won't work if you do. You've got to go to map custom fields. You don't have to hit clear map. I did because I was messing around with this earlier. So here's the problem. Over on the left-hand side of my screen, I'm going to leave this right here, are the fields that I had in Excel that I changed into a CSV file. First, last, title, business name. There they are again. Over on the right hand side is what I have in Outlook. So I'm going to expand the name and I need to tell Outlook that first in my CSV file is the same as first name and last is the same as last name. In title, this was Dr., Mr., Mrs. I, instead of dragging it to title, I'm going to drop it in middle name by accident. And I realize, uh-oh, I dragged and dropped to the wrong place. We'll just simply do it again. Drag and drop it to the correct place. Company, right here, that's business name. Business name over to company. Title 2 was their job title. And now we've got some phones here, business phone, work phone to business phone. And the last one is mobile phone. I thought it was in there. I promise you it's in there. Let me just find it. Mobile phone to mobile phone. So that matches. That's mapped. Now the email, obviously you need to pull their email in. Right here, you have multiple emails. I always start off with the one that has no number in it. Email to email address. And then display name is optional, but I'm going to drop it on email display. I'm going to hit OK now. And now when I hit finish, I should get six new contacts imported. Perfect. If you want to know what that display name is, one more time. Mark Martin, but Mark actually goes by Lee Martin. So I made his display name Lee Martin. So when I double click, there's that display name. So it's optional. It's up to you if you want to have the display name. You don't have to have it. I'm going to close this. Uh, let's test it real quick. I'm going to drag that down to my email and let go. And it populated the two line and it looks correct. And I just sent it off and it's working. So that is how you go from Outlook, I'm sorry, from Excel to Microsoft Outlook with importing contacts. Thank you.